Mathematics, an abstract science, a way of expressing physical properties in a universally understood language, summarising the quantity of everything in this dimension and others beyond our comprehension. Mathematics has been behind all of our innovations, from commercial currency to computers. We use maths to guide rockets through our solar system. And today I'll be using maths to calculate whether Dick Destroy December is actually possible or not. Now yes, I did already make a video on this last year, but the detail was limited. In this video, I want to explore the things that may hinder your success. The main hindrance being that it's probably humanly impossible to jack it 31 times in a single day, but, but let's see what other problems you may encounter, and the steps you can take to give yourself an advantage. Who knows, maybe someone's stupid enough to take this past the meme and actually attempt it. Though I certainly hope not. In the original video, I took average values off Google. The average time for an entire session was 22 minutes, based off an average of taking 7 minutes to ejaculate and having a refractory period of 15 minutes. Now obviously, these values are different for everyone. I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn hard. Some people can probably go nut after nut after nut. Some people may need to go to a true effort to spring up again. People are different. So in this video, I'm going to try and figure out the maximum possible values to mathematically complete Dick Destroy December. Therefore, how quickly you're going to have to bust a nut and recover. Okay, so, time constraints. You're not just limited by 24 hours in a day. It's a bit more complex than that. Obviously, you have to sleep, eat, piss and shit. You'll also have to fit in the time between your currently busy regime. But I'm sure if you're watching this video, your life isn't very busy at all. I'll also assume that you've got no friends and sit in your bedroom all day, which means you've got all the time on your hands. And your penis in your hands. So, these are the time constraints. 24 hours in a day, 8 hours of sleep, actually fuck it, let's have 6. We need to optimise our time. Can't destroy your dick while you're sleeping, can you? Can you? Let's allow ourselves 6 times to piss. Each piss taking 3 minutes, that gives us 18 minutes total. So I'll just round that to 20 minutes. Two times to shit, each one taking 10 minutes, there's another 20 minutes. You can jack it while eating, but the preparation of food is what will take the most time, so I'd suggest having a canned food for breakfast, dinner and tea. From my experience of Home Alone survival, canned stuff normally takes about two minutes to heat up, so let's allow an extra minute for the grand effort of transferring from can to bowl. Three minutes per meal, three meals, nine minutes, round it to ten. Where hydration is concerned, I suggest grabbing a couple of those massive 19 litre bottles of water and sticking a straw in it. Do that before the challenge starts and you won't have to worry about wasting time during it. What else do we have to do in order to sustain ourselves other than sleep, eat, drink, piss and shit? Well, nothing that I can think of. So the total time that is wasted every day is approximately uh, 410 minutes or 6.833 hours, freeing up uh, 1,030 minutes or 17.167 hours to beat your shmeet. So now we know our time frame, we can simply divide it by the number of times we need to beat the shmeet. I was sad enough to enter each day into Excel, so that you know how much time you have per session each day. I even generated a graph. So on the first day, we have the full 1,030 minutes allowed for one wank. On the second day, we have 515 minutes per wank. This continues to the 31st day where you're allowed 33.2 minutes per wank. Now, in my previous video, I stated that it takes approximately 22 minutes to ejaculate and come out of the refractory period. If this stays consistent, throughout the entire month, you will spend 3,472 minutes masturbating, or 57.86 hours. That is a lot of masturbating, and personally, I wouldn't waste my time. But I'm not concerned whether you should do it, I'm concerned whether you could do it. And can you? No. Or at least, men can't. Here's why. The problem derives from the male refractory period. Sadly for men, when they ejaculate, their sympathetic nervous system activates the release of neurotransmitters which cause the penis to go flaccid. As well as this, the production of dopamine is dampened, which increases the refractory period. Other hormones that affect the refractory period are serotonin and prolactin, which, as they increase, increase the refractory period. If you keep having orgasms in quick succession, these hormones will just stack, making continuation much more difficult each time, thus rendering Dick Destroy December IMPOSSIBLE. 
The only situation in which this challenge isn't impossible is if you could suppress the release of these hormones, stop the refractory period increase, and be capable of having 31 orgasms in one day. There is actually a drug called cabogolin. Is that how you pronounce it? Cabogolin? Cabogolin? Anyway, it lowers the amount of prolactin hormones in the blood, but I'm not a chemist, so I'm not getting into that shit. If you want to ejaculate multiple times in a day, I highly suggest doing it on 30 seconds to fat, a game in which you have to ejaculate before your parents catch you. Link is in the description.